Welcome to Construct in 5, a series where I teach you to make a full Construct game in around about 5 minutes. Let's get started. This is going to be a space shooter. So we're going to create it and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the viewport size which is 8 to 5, 4 by 480. Click anywhere on our screen and change the size of the layout. So we're only working in this small space. First right we're going to create is a background and we want a tiled background. I'm going to create one, I'm going to call it space background and then just click. I'm going to import a sprite but you can create your own. So this is one that I created just using the bucket tool and a couple of paint spots and using the tile background means that we can make this as big as we like and it's just going to keep repeating that same pattern. Once we've got that in place we're going to start adding in our first ships so insert a new object, scroll down to sprites and this is going to be our player ship first. I'm going to open just one that I've got already. You can create your own. If you're creating your own, please make sure it faces right. If not, it doesn't work quite the same because Construct's main center of angle is right. Once we've got it, we can make it nice and small. But that is a really good size. I'm going to place it center. I'm then going to create a brand new object. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to call this enemy ship. Click. And again, I'm just opening. This is just the same image, but I've changed the blue to red. Now for the size, I want it to be the same size as the other one. So I'm actually going to take the size of this one, copy and paste it, and apply it to the size of this one here. And then I'm going to put on the opposite side. Doesn't matter, it's not facing the right way. That's something we'll fix with the code. Now we need to insert some bullets. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to create our first bullet. Click anywhere. I'm going to grab just a square box and I've got green there. Crop it. That's our first bullet done. Then we need to resize this to the size we want. So I'm going to make this nice and small, like so. And then I'm going to right click over here, clone. I'm going to rename this from bullet two to bullet enemy. And just so it's nice and clear in our game who's shooting who, we're just going to use the bucket tool and change this to red, like so. And we need to drag one on there as well. Now you can change your bullet speeds and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Final thing we need to add is just text boxes. So we're just going to insert text and this is going to be player health. I'm going to click top left corner, change the color to white and set the text to say free, showing that we've got free health to begin with. And then same again, we're just going to clone this, rename this to enemy health, and we're just going to put this out here, and we're going to use the align to the right, just so that appears there, and that's now our enemy health. That's all the sprites that we need, we can start moving on to behaviours. First one's our bullets, we're going to right click, edit behaviours, Add new behavior. We're going to add the bullet behavior. Nice and simple. We'll do that for both of them. Next, for our enemy ships and for our player ships, we're going to add two behaviors. The first one is bound to layout, so they cannot leave the level. And the second one we're going to add is custom. I'm going to scroll down and add the custom behavior. We'll do the same for our player ship as well. Final thing we need to do before we move to event sheets is add a brand new object and we're going to add the mouse because this game is going to play using the mouse. Now let's move to our event sheet. So first what we're going to say is every tick. We want to get the enemy ship set angle towards position and this is going to be player ship dot x and player ship dot y. Okay, so it's always going to face the player, and we also want enemy ship. Go down to our custom behavior, accelerate towards position, and we're going to set it to 50. And if you want that ship to be faster, we can play around that number. And then again, this is going to be player ship dot x, player ship dot y. So our enemy is always going to try and aim towards. Our player and with the custom behavior we get a weird bit of drift as well which works really well for the space setting. 
Next one we're going to add is we're going to say system. Scroll down to every X seconds, every second, and we want the enemy ship to spawn a new object. And it's going to shoot a red bullet. And we can also do the same at this stage for our player, just saving that extra command. Scroll down and spawn another object and our green billet. Now we need to get our main player to move, so we're going to add events, set every tick, and we're going to do player ship dot set angle towards position, and this is going to be set towards mouse dot x and mouse dot y. So our player is always going to face where our mouse is looking. Then going to add another uh, statement underneath player ship. And we're going to do accelerate towards position, 50 again, so it matches the same speed, and then mouse.x, mouse.y. So it's always trying to get to our mouse. Finally, what we need to do is we just need to do a little bit of detection on scores and health. So if we do this, we need to add two global variables. So first one's going to be player health. And this is going to be a number that's set to three. And then we're going to copy and paste this and we're going to create enemy health and again set to free. Now we're going to add two events really quickly. So we're going to say player ship is overlapping another object, the bullet from the enemy. We're going to do two things. First thing we need to do is destroy the bullet so we can't hit it more than once from the same bullet. Then what we're going to do is we're going to change that variable. So we're going to subtract from enemy or player health because the player has been hit by one. And then we're going to update the text. So it's a player that's been hit, so we need to set the text. And it's going to be the new value of player health. Once you've done that, you need to do the exact same in reverse for the enemy. Good, now we've got this all set up. The final thing we're going to add before we play this is just to check if the game's over or not. To do this, we're going to add a new event, system, compare variable, enemy health is equal to zero. Copy and paste this, double click, and change this to player health. And finally, we're going to click on this left side here and make this an all block. This means if any health gets to zero, we do sync. And just for this one, all we're going to do is do system scroll down and set time scale to zero this will just pause the game so the game will pause once somebody wins or lose and we can quickly see who's won or lost so now we can play it and it's going to follow my mouse and every second they're going to be shooting and it drifts with us you see that i've been hit now so i've lost it i'm going to move my player over here and then i'm going to drift back and see if i can get a couple of shots in trying to predict where my player enemy is going And then if I try and get hit, there we go, game's frozen, and it was 0-1, I lost. So have a go creating this for yourself, and let me know if you're any better at playing this game than I am.